Angela, it's very nice to meet you. Angela from Amdocs. Uh, welcome to MWC. How's the show gone for you so far? Hello, Steve. It's a pleasure to be here. And as always, this show is dynamic and full of new things and yeah. full of all the people Crazy, who's right? in the industry. It's fantastic. And you've had an announcement here. Tell us about that. We have. Um, I'm really pleased to be launching Amdocs Autonomous Service Assurance today at MWC. We think it's the ideal event to be launching that. Yep. Um, it's the industry's first platform made up of an ecosystem of really innovative and disruptive partners and of services, so everything all brought together to help the service providers evolve from the sort of manual network centric operations, very reactive that they do today, yeah. into the service centric, autonomous and very proactive operations that they need for the future. Well, that's been a, a goal for a, an awfully long time. How have you... Uh manage to conjure up this magic? Is it really to do with technology or is it to do with the partnerships? It's to do with a couple of things. So the first thing, if you look at um, where service providers want to go, it's really into becoming a digital service provider. Yeah. And if you look at one of some of the industry disruptors are doing, it's very much about they've got a far simpler, flatter, more software driven network than, than what a service provider has. They've invested heavily in this autonomous operations around that. Right. And then they've produced digital, linking the customer directly onto that network. And that's really where the service for providers want to go in the future. So that's kind of step one. And then step two is, obviously, the network's becoming much more software defined and much more virtualized, which right. makes it possible to start to drive the network in a different way. Right. And then step three is the innovation that Amdox brings to the table around the technology that sits on top of that. It's the software driving the software in the network right. to deliver this. Who, who are some of the partners that you've been working with on this? So in the network space, Amdocs Open Network very much has an open network ecosystem and an open source approach, as you would know from some of our industry initiatives around um, ONAP, for example. Yeah, absolutely. And so it's in, in addition to ONAP and the open source capability, we have um, a set of about 80 network partners, um, all of whom are very innovative, very disruptive, really trying to drive towards this goal of a digital network, an open network, and a new way of doing operations. Right. I mean, the path to um, automation uh, follows a road of virtualization. You can't do one without the other. Uh, the, the, the most prevalent feedback that we get from service providers is that virtualization has been basically a disaster for the last six years for them because they didn't get what they were expecting, which was this kind of uh, free market technology economy of interoperable virtualization uh, infrastructure and services. Um, in some ways, ironically, that's obviously very good for business for uh, you know a massive company like Amdocs because you get called upon to solve a lot of those problems. Do you think, however, that we are going to get to a point where service providers are happy about the virtualization layer of the network, or is there a danger that we're always going to have uh, you know this challenge at the virtualization layer, even if we build this incredible sort of city of dreams of automation and uh, wonderful new digital services over the top of it. So an interesting couple of questions and I have a slightly different perspective on it. Um, so the first thing is I don't think autonomous operations 100% needs SDN and NFE and virtualization. Okay. Um, there is automation capability and autonomous operations capabilities that can go out there today that deliver business benefit on the networks and the services of today. That, that, that's point one. Um, the second thing I would say is it's too late if they wait to start to change operations until SDN and NFE have arrived because right. this is a journey. Um, operations, it's big, it's complicated, it's been built over many, many years of experience and expertise and it's not going to change overnight. So right. if the service providers wait until SDN and NFE is fully here to start, right. they've kind of lost the race at the beginning. Wow. Um, yeah. So they need to be starting it today and it's a journey that's going to not only deliver value today but prepare them for SDN and NFE when it's coming along. Okay, so that really turns my preconceived notions of how this journey is happening on its head, which is, I think, fascinating. So do you actually have customers who are addressing network operations first and the, and the virtualization components second? We have customers that are doing one first and then the other second. We have yeah. people that are doing it um, in parallel. I think one of the common things is nobody is starting from the same place and right. nobody's going on the same journey. Yeah. And when I first introduced this and said what it was, I think the key thing was it's a platform. It's not a um, pre-built, um, single, monolithic capability with one size fits all. It's right. a platform. And it's a platform designed to evolve 
as the service provider evolves. Right. And we've actually got um, five different starting points where we think the service providers are going to want to start and where we have customers starting today. Yeah. And then we have multiple roadmap journeys to get them to where they need to be. And it's really driven by what is the big problem that they're facing today and what are they trying to do wow. next and starting there, but always having this in-state vision of autonomous operations in mind. What would you say is the most common problem that they face right now? Uh, so I think there are um, a number of things, that, a number of factors around this to be successful. Um, so I think the first thing is you can't just do it overnight. Um, it's a evolutionary process. And right. so picking a starting point and starting and then having the ability to incrementally automate more and more and more is, is absolutely key. It's a, it's a journey and they need to acknowledge that. Yeah. Um, I think the second thing is engaging the operations folks in this. Um, moving away from what today is a very predictable, predefined, maybe somewhat rigid way of operating network right. that's been built up over many years right. into more of a DevOps way of, of yeah. building and managing network because some of these things are new, nobody's done them before. Yeah. And some of these things are changing constantly. So how do you get that DevOps mentality yeah. where you're well, upside? You have to let go of some of those yeah. you know, yeah. sacred goals of things that's like exactly five nines it. and so on and, and, and fail oh. fast. and. Well, that, that, that's where it gets interesting yeah. because I don't think you let go of the goal of five or six nines. I think I think it just becomes a different way of delivering that goal. So instead of hardware engineering it at the network level through right. the network design, you engineer it at a software level. And this is what autonomous operations is all about. Actually, one of our customers said to me, um, we're putting NFV infrastructure out there, and the problem is it kind of runs to you know three nines. Right. But we still have to deliver five nines quality out to the industry and the customers. Right. So how are we going to do that? Through this autonomous operations. If you can see what's going on in the network, you can see what the customer is doing, and if you can react in real time, you can get that five or six nines through software rather than hardware. Yeah, amazing. How is Amdocs as a company changing as the technology is changing and as the customers are changing? I mean, have you seen uh, a change in Amdocs culturally? Have you reorganized? How are you approaching life differently at Amdocs these days? So I think there are um, a number of big changes that, that you will see around Amdocs. Um, so the first is we have always had best of suite capability in the industries, best of suite, BSS and OSS. And we have transformed that into um, open integrated capability where customers can take modules of capability and yeah. put the focus where it needs to be rather than needing to change everything at once. So, so that's change one. Change two is very much about um, linking digital and IT and network together. So a lot of customers are doing digital programs, they're doing IT programs, they're doing network programs, but how do you bring them all together to right. really deliver that um, customer touch all the way from digital sure. onto the network is key. And then how do you autonomously operate across that is yeah. key. Uh, and that's what we're doing with autonomous service assurance. Really, really interesting. Fascinating, actually. Thank you so much. You're for sharing welcome. all of that. Angela, it was a pleasure and good luck with everything. Good luck at the rest of the Mobile World Congress mosh pit. It's always an event, isn't it? Thank you, Steve. So nice really to nice you. to meet you. Thank you.